Hi everyone, so it's a delight to be here. Um, uh, I'm here to tell you about Wikipedia, something you all know about, but hopefully you'll learn something uh, new about some of the collaborations Wikipedia makes with other communities. Um, so, uh, way back in the ancient light years ago of January 2014, there's a study that suggests that we all go to Wikipedia first now, ahead of any other source of healthcare information. And that's true for both all of us as health professionals and the general public. And I don't know if you knew this, but the top 100 English Wikipedia pages for healthcare topics were averaged 1.9 million times during 2013. Um, if we talk about sort of clinicians, physicians, healthcare providers using Wikipedia, um, there's a number of studies that have been done that basically prove what we all kind of surmise, which is that we use Wikipedia too. Even though we're health professionals, we go there. In fact, we go there first, it turns out. This study of 94% of med students is actually pretty dated. I guarantee it's got to be 100% of my US, uh, UCSF med students. So I'd like to publicly declare that we no longer need to be ashamed about it. Let's own up to it. We all use Wikipedia. Amen, brothers and sisters. Okay. So, um, let's look at the literature for scientists, too, from the Journal of Medical Internet Research. Our colleague of mine, uh, James Heilman, I should uh, point out that was him in the corner there, his slides. Uh, that one. So he published this uh, journal. Uh, first of all, I want to point out that um, you don't like the citation thing's interesting, but here's a new term if you're not familiar with it. Tweetations is how many people cite your article in tweets. So that's a pretty early figure when this was published, so I'm sure the numbers are much higher now. In any case, uh, James and colleagues from the abstract, Wikipedia's medical content at the end of 2013, 155,000 articles, 1 billion bytes of text, 255 languages, and uh, supported by more than 950,000 references. Uh, those con that content was viewed 4.88 billion times in that one year, 4.88 billion. Um, I'm not sure if you knew this, but did you know that all Wikipedia articles are graded for quality? Here's the grading scale. It turns out it's all Wikipedia articles, but I'm just showing you the health-related articles. All articles start as a stub, and they work their way up to scale if people add more information, all the way up that scale. You can see the grading rubric here. It's a superficial, but you could click on the show icons and get more detail about what it takes to move up the quality scale in Wikipedia and be deemed more rigorous. Anybody heard of Wiki Project Medicine here? Show of hands. Fantastic. Those of you that didn't raise your hands, here's the new part. Wiki Project Medicine is an all-volunteer corp of about 250 people only who are committed to improving the quality of health-related content on Wikipedia. Um, you all can be part of Wiki Project Medicine today if you want to, because uh, they have taken all the ro roughly 26,000 English language Wikipedia health-related topics and rank ordered them by importance. And what I think is really awesome, awesome, awesome about this rank ordering is that they've included both global burden of disease and number of eyeballs clicking on the pages. So human sexuality, really important. A lot of people read about it on Wikipedia. So too is Ebola. So too is dengue fever, even though dengue fever is not a really big problem here in the US. James and colleagues actually have some pictures I want to show you from their article, which I also think is really awesome. We know this. Most of the, you know, most of the uh, internet's in English. We also know that most of the world doesn't speak English. <laughs> and if you look at the internet by language as compared with Wikipedia by language, Wikipedia is the most multilingual part of the internet. Why? Because everybody can contribute. It's not the world's distribution of language spoken, but it's closer. So James says if we want to get high quality medical information to the world's population in the language of their preference, Wikipedia is probably the most viable strategy to do so. Anybody heard of Wikipedia Zero? Show of hands. Rock on, there's even more people that are going to learn stuff. Only the two Wikipedians in the room have heard about Wikipedia Zero. <laughs> I'm here to tell you about it. Okay, it's a really kick-ass opportunity to provide access to Wikipedia to the world's population in the developing country for free on their cell phones, because they access Wikipedia on their cell phones just like we do, but cell phone carriers charge a buttload of money for data access charges. But Wikipedia says, hey, we're a free encyclopedia. Cell phone provider, give access for free. And cell phone providers are stepping up and doing it. So right now, more than 400 million people in the world in 69 mobile phone carriers in 61 developing countries have access to Wikipedia for free. There's the wiki page on Wikipedia Zero, and you can see some of the countries that are participating. Anybody heard of Translators Without Borders? 
Rock on, only one person. Fabulous, you're learning something new today. Translators Without Borders, a humanitarian organization that translates for, uh, for social good. They've translated 27 million words, and they collaborate with all the other people I mentioned to translate uh, uh, Wiki Project Medicine articles into more than 100 languages. Anybody heard of Wiki Edu? Okay, fantastic. It's the bridge between academia and Wikipedia, a foundation based here in the city to provide us help for how to provide uh, high quality information to the world's population. So everybody, all those are collaborators, and the people missing, I'll end it here. Who's missing from this partnership? Step up, everyone. It's us. Let's get on board and collaborate.